and we should be go with Pokemon Yellow No Safe Corruption. About an hour and 45 minutes ago, you saw Pokemon Blue No Safe Corruption, where we avoided corrupting the save data and still beat Pokemon Blue in 10 minutes. This run is going to be actually 25 seconds faster than that run by using Pokemon Yellow instead of Blue. And you're going to see a completely different method of, of messing with the Trainer Fly Glitch to get to the Hall of Fame quickly. In Pokemon Yellow, when you re-enter the forest after Trainer Fly happens, instead of triggering a series of battles, you trigger a Glitched Mart. And I'm going to show you guys all about how that glitch mark gets set up. First off, we have in-game fast options. The options can be set in yellow even faster than in red-blue because you can press left at the same time that you press A to enter the options menu and toggle all the options one to the left. That is perfect for what we need for all of our options, except that it also sets the absolutely cancerous earphone 3 setting that is going to be negated by the fact that all of the game audio is being panned into one mono signal for you guys. Uh, and it's it's basically undoing the, the weirdness that is the earphone 3 setting in yellow. Um, now, there's another interesting glitch that you guys completely did not see at all uh, in this NNC run. You didn't see it even being taken into account because in that oak fight, when you are fighting Pikachu, you don't have a Pokemon and the game glitches because of this, because there's a little animation when you go into a battle about whether it's like a wild Pokemon or whether you're higher or lower level in it. And you don't have any Pokemon at that point. So the comparison between like what your Pokemon's level is and the enemy Pokemon's level doesn't work. It is like reads your Pokemon's level from nowhere. And it ends up being where your uh, rival's name was stored. So because you sp pick a specific rival name, not only are you using that as part of the data storage to get the right stuff set up for the glitch mart, we're also using that as part of manipulating the animation to be fast in the beginning of this run. Or or if not, then it... Uh, I'm not sure if we're actually able to use it, but we we have to take that into account as a factor in the way that animation is spawned. Your phone 3 is just one of the headphone settings that's possible in Pokemon Yellow. It pans a bunch of like the sound effects into one of the earphones and other effects of the other side. Um, here we got a specific number of tackles uh, and thundershocks from Pikachu to get Pikachu into red bar while winning the fight. We need to win the fight for Pikachu to get a certain amount of stat experience from Eevee as part of setting up data to get the glitch mart to appear. And all the items to work the way we want to. And for our party swaps to work after the glitch mark. Now, you, you're familiar with this at this point already. <laughs> We've done blue NSC and uh, blue glitch lists. So route one in encounter manipulation is all familiar to us. But this is, this is the beginning. This, this task gets crazy quickly. You'll see here us taking again the right side of the grass, showing off that we can avoid getting any encounters, never having to worry. And now we're back. And here we have to go talk behind Oak so that Pikachu is out of the way when Gary comes up to Oak. Thank you. 
And now on our way back up, we are going to buy some Pokeballs, if I remember correctly, in Viridian City, and then we're going to go to the forest. The Pokeballs in the No Save Corruption category being necessary for a Pokemon that we're going to catch on Route 1 after we do the Trainer Fly. And since we've already seen Trainer Fly, we know Trainer Fly is where we're going to die to a Pokemon at the end of the forest. But we don't have quite the same Pokemon in Yellow's Forest as we do in Blue. So we're, we're going to see a different Pokemon. And it's going to have utility both in the No Save Corruption and it's going to have different utility in the glitch list run that we're going to see after this. A little annoyance here in yellow that we didn't see in blue is that that old man blocks her path and does a second catch tutorial. They went from zero catch tutorials in blue, red, red, blue to two in yellow with both Oak catching a Pikachu and the old man trying to teach you how to catch Rattata. Talk about handholding. Huge series of back and forth walking there. Avoiding encounters as we walk up through this grass. And now some A-presses. No nuance to the grass here. In yellow, they've now fixed the grass, so there's no, di there's no like, point to where you walk. And now we have activated trainer fly again but with Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto is the star I was talking about that we see in both the no save corruption and the save corruption tasks. Here we use Pidgeotto to insta gib Pikachu and cause the trainer fly glitch. Now that we're back in Pallet Town on our way back to Viridian City, we get an encounter. This encounter has specific uh, level stats, all this stuff to generate another encounter specifically later. And it's necessary also to avoid, like, freezing the game. We're not going to be able to make our way right back to the forest. We're going to have to do a little bit more intricate stuff in Verdian City. And this is where the this is the meat of the no save corruption run right here. So if you're if you're looking for like a high point, th this is really what you should be paying attention to for the the meat of the yellow no save corruption run. That's different from the blue no save corruption run. A little bit of a similar thing here that we have to deposit a Pokemon to align data into the boxes. But now instead of going right back to the forest. We're going to go into one of the houses in Viridian City. And why is this? Well, we need to get the girl on the left to move up while the bird moves to the left. And we're continuing to manipulate those um, sprite movements. And then at this point, we have the bird move off the screen to the left as we move to the right. That freezes a specific data like value in one um, byte of VRAM. And then we jump over that ledge to keep that byte frozen. And that bite in the video RAM, the PPU's RAM, is stuck there now. It's just, it's not being used by any other sprites as we walk back to the forest. And now that we enter the forest, it gets read by a text buffer and we have a mart. <laughs> and now that we have the mart, we buy a specific glitch item, 4F. 4F is, yeah, the OAM, the object attribute buffer. Yeah. And now that we can use 4F, we have Party Underflow. Party Underflow lets us do lots of crazy things very, very powerfully to get us to the Hall of Fame.
And again, we're manipulating the seen and owned Pokemon count so that we get a Pokedex rating that has no like extra paragraphs of text, so we never press a button there. So the last input of the no save corruption task is actually uh, at well, I, the timer must be a tad off here, but the time it's at uh, nine forty seven. Um, so, thank you guys for watching that. Underflow is when, like, the count of something goes below zero. So because in 8 bits that goes back to 255, we then have 255 Pokemon in our party instead of the normal 6, and we can swap the, like, fake Pokemon around to corrupt massive amounts of data in the game's RAM at, at once. Yeah.